So in about a week, I will be putting some box braids into my hair and I just wanted to make sure that my hair is in tip top shape for those braids because I will be leaving them in for about two months. And so today I'm going to be doing a nice little strengthening treatment um, for my hair and I just wanted to show you guys how I go about that. Now for almost two years now, I have been using henna as my primary strengthening treatment for my hair. And in my opinion, I feel like henna has a lot more to offer than something like eggs or yogurt or um, mayonnaise because I feel like henna actually makes the hair feel thicker and softer and healthier um, whereas something like eggs actually just kind of makes my hair feel a little bit dry. And so I have just opted for a nice henna treatment almost every month and my hair has just flourished ever since. So how henna works is that the dye from the henna will actually coat each strand of hair and if you have say any cracks or crevices throughout your hair, that dye will actually kind of fill in each of those cracks and you will be left with much softer hair and it will be less likely to snag on anything or break off. And that coating effect of the dye gives the hair a really nice thicker and shinier appearance over time. And if you guys can tell by the video, henna, <laughs> the thumbnail, um, henna can also give the hair a really nice reddish to coppery tint to it. And it can look really fiery in some lights, but also kind of purplish in others. And I just think that that's really cool with it. So in this video, I will not be going super duper in depth about everything there is to know about henna. Um, and that's simply because um, this could easily turn into um, a 30 or 40 minute long video and I feel like I can do a much better job explaining henna um, in multiple shorter videos than one super giant one. In the future, I do plan on making videos about henna and its effect on curl pattern, um, its effect on hair color and how you can adjust that to your liking, and also henna's risks and benefits and also what to do if you find that henna is actually making your hair feel a little bit dry. So if you guys would be interested in that, um, first make sure to comment below um, with any questions that you may have about henna so I can hopefully address those in future videos. And also make sure to subscribe um, so you don't miss those videos. But today I will be kind of just introducing you guys to henna and how I do my normal monthly routine. And hopefully you guys will find it helpful. So let's get into the video. So to start off, I'm going to warm up a full can of coconut cream in a pot on low heat and add a spoonful or so of fenugreek paste. I'm going to let this warm up until it's pretty warm to the touch, but not super blazingly hot. Now while that's warming up, I'm going to add around a cup and a half-ish or so of 100% body art quality henna. I recommend this type of henna because one, it is more effective than powders made specifically for dyeing the hair, and it is a lot more effective. Here I added some apple cider vinegar to help the dye release, and I'm following that up by slowly mixing in some of our warmed coconut milk and fenugreek mixture until I get this really thick, muddy consistency. So henna tends to have a really muddy and sometimes clumpy consistency that can be really difficult and messy to work with. And the coconut and fenugreek are really there to help make it easier to work with and will also add some additional strength and hydration. However, if I don't have coconut milk in hand, I love using an overripe avocado as well because it adds so much more hydration and really helps to balance out the strengthening effects of henna. Now, once everything is mixed in, I'm going to pour some hot water on top of my paste and let it sit in a warm area overnight. Now, after many hours, I mixed in the water that was sitting on top and got this lovely smooth consistency that is perfect for application. And now it's finally time to apply this to my hair. So for the strongest results, I recommend applying this on dry hair. And your hair can be clean or dirty just as long as there's not too much oil on it because that will make it harder for the dye to actually reach your strands. If you have pale skin, I'd recommend rubbing some oil around your hairline, neck, and possibly shoulders just to make sure that you don't end up looking like an Oompa Loompa afterwards. 
And also be sure to wear gloves. Those are super important. Now, the cleanest way I found to apply henna is by actually starting from the crown of my head. Just gently coating my hair from root to tip and then wrapping that section into a little baby bun. And each subsequent section will also be wrapped around that little bun um, until all of my hair is coated. Now I'm just gonna clean up my body and kind of stick on a plastic cap onto my hair, put on a nice warm hat on top, and I'll just chill with that in my hair for around eight hours. And I apologize, I did not end up filming the rest of this, but once my eight hours is up, I am going to rinse all of the henna out of my hair with some warm water, and then mix together a moisturizing deep conditioner with a teaspoon or so of avocado oil or olive oil. And I will just deep condition my hair one more time for around 20 to 25 minutes. Now I know that this is a lot of steps, but without following up the henna with a moisturizing treatment, my hair will end up feeling really, really dry. But when all is done, I'm going to be left with these beautiful, bouncy, luscious curls that are just so pretty and soft. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and again, please let me know if you have any questions at all about henna, and I'll be sure to address them. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you all again soon.